Hello everyone. Uh, so I uh, thought I'd uh, do another game uh, to fill out the uh, vid video schedule to make things a little more varied. And also because I've talked about this one, uh, we have here Ostriv. Uh, this is uh, a village uh, building game. Uh, basically, as I understand it, you, you're, you're building a Ukrainian village. Now, this is a Windows title. Uh, it's eventually going to come out on Linux, uh, but it's not even in, uh, in early access yet. Uh, this is a, a pre-alpha version, uh, or alpha version, or whatever he's called it. Uh, I put down the, uh, the cache to get access to it because it looked interesting. Uh, this is alpha 2 patch 4. So uh, I'm running this on Linux under Wine, so there may be uh, a glitch or two. Uh, but uh, eventually it's apparently coming to Steam. Uh, there's a, uh, a page for it on Steam. It hasn't gone into early access yet, uh, at least not since I last checked. However, the game is uh, quite playable now, uh, so uh, I figured I'd, uh, I'd start up a game and, uh, and see where it goes. So uh, first of all, we'll start a new game. We've got to pick a map. Now, it doesn't really matter which map. Uh, they're all basically playable. Uh, I don't think I want this one with the big bay. Uh, you know, I think, uh, I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay. And now the first thing I'm going to do is pause the game while I uh, ponder here. So the first thing we need to do is... Uh, set up a location for uh, the camp. Uh, earlier versions, the camp just spawned. Uh, uh, where And we start out in the spring, uh, in March, uh, where the snow is just melted. So, uh, and you can see here that the ground is pretty, uh, pretty uh, lumpy here. Uh, right. Uh, anyway, back out. Uh, what we need to do, we need to have the, the camp, uh, near some, uh, woods, uh, because we're going to need to, uh, uh, chop down some trees initially to get things going. Um, okay, so the, uh, the controls are a little bit, uh, janky, but, uh, some of that might be wine and some of that might be alpha software uh, or I'm used to another game. Uh, okay, so uh, where I'm going to need to be putting uh, nine houses near the uh, initial uh, camp location and I'm going to need also to uh, be able to uh, build a thatchery. So I'm thinking in around here should do. So I'm going to place the camp right, I'm going to place it here, okay? Now, uh, as it helpfully says, we need to build a forestry, and this is something you absolutely need to do. You need to build the forestry before you run out of lumber and nails. Uh, if you fail to do that, uh, you will end up, uh, well, dead, uh, basically. Uh, okay, so we'll, uh, I'll stick it right here. Uh, right. Now, uh, I'll uh, start the clock moving, and our uh, people here should start uh, constructing that. Now, uh, I also need to build a thatchery, so I will uh, get that queued up. Uh, okay, and uh, nope, oh, no, 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 R and T rotate. So I'm going to set. I'm going to stick the thatchery here. Uh, now we should have enough resources to build our houses. Uh, 
So, I'm also going to queue up uh, houses. Now, I'm going to put the houses over here. Okay, so we got this thing over here. I'm going to actually put the houses over this way. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm dithering on which way I want to face them. Okay. I'm going to put them here. Okay. Now, if you hold down shift when you place them, you can place multiple all at once. Okay, that's four of them. And then, turn it around. So, I'm doing it this way, uh, because that will give me a, a sort of street. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll do it along here. Three, four. Okay, so that's eight houses, and we need one more. Uh, and that will allow us to uh, have our, uh, our camp completely cleared out. Okay, now... Once we have the houses up, uh, we definitely need to build a smithy. Oh, uh, we also need to build a clay pit. Uh, no, no, here. Uh, yeah, the clay pit is absolutely critical. So we'll uh, stick one of those down. Uh, if you forget to build that, your houses won't build. So, yeah. Uh, and then uh, we'll need to, uh, and clay pits build instantly. Uh, okay, now uh, we also need a smithy, which I'm going to stick over here. Okay, uh, these are the uh, critical things to, uh, to build right off, is you definitely need to get your... Uh, um, your uh, residence here out of the tents by the first winter. Okay, so now that I've got that uh, moving, uh, I'm going to uh, speed things up because there's not much we can do at this point other than watch these guys uh, construct the uh, buildings. And once, uh, once all these things go up, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, we'll be able to, uh, hire foresters. Um, okay, so we've got lots of builders here. Okay. Uh, right. So, uh, right. So, uh, now, you see, it gives you that helpful hint to, uh, build, uh, uh, build houses for the families. Uh, now, I'm actually building the... Uh, the... Uh, the thatch thing. Uh, oh, and we're going to need to hire some foresters. Uh, we need at least two so they can chop down trees. Now, doing that means we'll have lumber. Uh, right. There we go. Uh, that's getting uh, everything uh, to the point where uh, where things can actually build. Uh, okay, so the thatchery is uh, completed, so we'll hire someone there. Uh, we should have enough thatch, but uh, but it's still uh, it, it's it's uh, something to uh, get going before you uh, forget about it okay and now we've got uh, farmhouses coming up our houses coming up so uh, and we should be able to get all nine of them built long before the uh, winter comes uh, 
So how's, uh, we have unemployed people, uh, right. Uh, okay, there's something else that we need to do while I'm thinking about it. Uh, we need uh, market stalls. Well, we need at least one, which I'm going to stick here. And that, we're going to add, uh, where is it? Firewood to it. And we'll hire a worker there. Uh, we'll need the firewood when, uh, when winter comes. We're producing firewood over here. Uh, and I'm going to set up a second well. Uh, so we'll put that, put a, a second well. Nope, you gotta press the right buttons. We'll put a well here. Um, you don't want your citizens running out of water. Uh, that initial well with the camp is usually enough for the initial uh, uh, families, uh, but it's uh, it's not uh, it's not the uh, uh, you know it's it's not uh, such a, a problem to have too much water is is where I'm going with that. Uh, so Ostriv here is, uh, you know, this is, uh, as I understand it, is being done by one guy. And, uh, you know, he's done a pretty decent job of it so far. Uh, compared to uh, the Alpha 1 releases, Alpha 2 is quite an improvement. Uh, quite a bit more depth to it. Uh, I suspect uh, Alpha 3, or uh, whatever pre-release on Steam is called, is going to be similar. Uh, that it's going to have a uh, substantial, uh, Im you know, I improvements again. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, the uh, the grass wears as a path uh, where the people actually go. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And you'll see if you, you if you observe as these uh, houses go up, you'll see a tent pa get packed up in the uh, family move into a house. Now we're up to May and interestingly enough uh, we're coming up positive on the money. So I'm not sure why why that is. Uh, is that usually it's going negative uh, at this point. Uh, I haven't worked out how to balance salaries and, and all that jazz. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, um, I'm not... Uh, I'm not uh, seeing how I, I I don't understand how the the numbers work out. Uh, I, I'm sure they do. Uh, okay, well this has gone down again, so we'll need to build a town hall at some point, obviously. Oh, in case you're wondering, the trees will eventually run out if we keep harvesting them. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, that is a thing, uh, but uh, there are ways to plant more trees. So, uh, as a result, you don't have to actually run out of lumber. Uh, it is renewable. Uh, and you don't even have to necessarily plant individual trees. Uh, anyway, uh, right. Okay, so this one is just about done. So if we uh, observe, we get the ding and... There goes the tent, and into the house. Okay, so as we get the houses up, the uh, uh, these numbers are being less favorable. Uh, okay. Or maybe it's because we're hiring more people. Uh, that might be it, too. Anyway, we, we're in June. We need uh, five more houses. Uh, right. 
so here, uh, good. Um, we're going to need, uh, obviously, for the second year, we're going to need to get food production online. And that's going to be a little bit more of a uh, challenge than, uh, than you might uh, expect. So uh, it'll mean we need to build a farm and, uh, and all that jazz. And uh, hopefully we can get to that uh, before the uh, winter. Uh, once we get to the, uh, you know, so we can get, get a farm up and, uh, uh, and get it uh, operating. And also uh, get a fishing dock up, I think. Uh, uh, no, that's a complicated uh, supply chain. I pressed the wrong button there. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so house number six is uh, constructing here. Uh, what we're going to need is a carpentry. Uh, that's what we're going to need, a carpentry. Uh, and a charcoal pile ultimately, but a carpentry, which will uh, will uh, throw up uh, okay, I'll throw up a carpentry here. Uh, we're gonna need the carpentry so we can repair carts and build carts. That's going to be important. And we're going to want cart parking say over here. Uh, right, so that will uh, uh, is, is, uh, if we don't have enough carts around uh, it gets very inefficient moving resources around. So you really want your carts uh, and that means you need a carpentry with a carpenter working to repair the carts. Uh, without that, uh, your carts eventually break down and then everything has to be moved by hand. Uh, and some things, I think, won't move by hand. Okay, so there we go. There's house number seven. Uh, just about up. And the next uh, work shift will finish the roof and ding. So it's only July and we're going to get this, the ninth uh, house will go up in plenty of time. Okay, we got resources being delivered. Uh, we got a foundation in. There we go. Uh, there's uh, lumber in. Yeah, so these guys are actually quite efficient at building. Uh, one of the things I like about Ostriv is uh, it simulates every person. And you can actually see them uh, act actually building the buildings uh, and moving the resources around. Uh, it's tedious when you're waiting for things to happen, but you can see it. Uh, and that's... Uh, that's actually quite uh, quite impressive, really. Uh, we're down 25 on the money. Uh, once we have food for sale, uh, I think that'll make a big difference. Uh, I want to put up a trading post fairly quickly as well, so that at the very least we can import a few things. Uh, but we definitely need to get food variety sorted out because they, they really do want a variety of food. Okay, there's house number eight. And then we have one more, uh, one more to build. And then uh, the uh, service buildings. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, also I'm going to queue up a charcoal pile which I'll put here, here. 
because we're going to need charcoal when the smithy gets operating. Uh, and we're going to need a smithy. Uh, that's under here. Smithy. Where is it? Smithy. Did, did I already... That's a carpentry, isn't it? Wait. No, I already scheduled the smithy. Right, 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 right. Uh, okay, so when the smithy gets operational, we're definitely going to need uh, the uh, charcoal to be operational. Uh, because the charcoal is going to be necessary for making nails, and we're definitely going to need those. Okay, the ninth house is just about up. So, there we go. Nine houses up uh, by August, by the end of August. And we had until November. So, uh, good. Now, the smithy is going up. And there we go. It's... Uh, Okay, once it's online, we won't have to worry about running out of nails, but we will have to worry about running out of iron. Okay, once that comes up, uh, right. Okay, it's uh, constructing. There we go. Good, the smithy's up. I'm going to hire a smith. And good. Uh, right. Okay, so now the uh, well should go up. And then the carpentry will go up. And then the uh, cart will uh, go up. The cart thing. I'm going to build a second cart parking. Uh, over here right okay uh, there goes the carpentry right so this is basically what your first year of the uh, Ostrif is going to look like probably for any uh, game you can vary it, uh, but uh, this is probably what it's going to look like. Uh, when these uh, cart uh, parking spaces, the cart sheds go up, I'll, uh, I'll drop the speed back. Well, when the one finishes, I'll drop the speed back. Okay. Uh, now, we're going to relocate them to here, right, uh, and we're going to hire a carpenter, and we can go in here and we can fire a couple of builders. Good. Uh, right. Now, uh, here we can order uh, an, another cart. Uh, yeah. Uh, how's employment doing? Uh, we have women looking for work. Okay, so what, uh, what I'm going to put up is a, uh, trading post, which I'm going to put here. Actually, no, I'm going to put it over here. Uh, okay, I'm going to put it here. Right? Uh, I want the trading post up so that uh, I can import some things uh, that will likely be needed. But also, 
I'm going to uh, export uh, charcoal if anybody wants it uh, just because uh, it's easy to make and it's uh, if anybody wants it it's a few a few dollars or whatever the money's called okay uh, right uh, so this, uh, I'll be able to demolish it once the cart moves over here. Uh, this next guy is probably the relocator. There we go. Uh, okay, so we'll demolish that. Good. Uh, yeah, we definitely needed to get the carpentry up for uh, for purposes of uh, repairing carts. Uh, right, so uh, the other thing I'm going to build is a, uh, where is it? Uh, fishing dock which I'll stick over here and uh, actually I'm going to pause that uh, and then I'm going to put I'm going to need a boat yard as well which I'll uh, put over here okay uh, is I want to get uh, fishing and uh, I want to get fishing online at, in some capacity right away. Uh, and also, I'm going to build a... Uh, well, chicken coop or a farm. Uh, or a pigsty even. No, we don't have hay uh, yet. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a farm up. Uh, I'm going to build the farm building uh, ASAP here as well. Uh, so, how do I want to situate this. I'm just going to stick it here like this. Then I'll put put fields around it, right? Uh, okay, so uh, if I launch the time forward again uh, now uh, Now here, what are what are our uh, hiring? We won't hire men here. Okay. Uh, here, uh, hiring options. We won't we won't hire men for regular workers. Right, because women, uh, if you know, they might as well do the uh, the jobs they can do. Right, so. Uh, right. And here, what are our uh, options? Yeah, the laborers. Here, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're good there. Uh, and I'm going to queue up a couple more uh, houses uh, because we are going to need more population. Uh, right, uh, so I'm going to move this in back of the farm, okay? Uh, so, uh, this one will order some carts. Uh, with more carts, we'll be able to move more stuff around. And I think, uh, I think this is just about to the point where... Uh, 
uh, where I'm going to call it for this part, and then you come back next time to see uh, to see what I end up doing with things. Uh, yeah, uh, I think this is a good spot to break uh, with uh, all this stuff queued up. Uh, next time, there's going to be some uh, probably some micromanaging in the economy and things like that. Uh, but once that's uh, once that's sorted out, uh, the uh, the village will start making some progress. Anyway, uh, I don't know how many parts this is going to end up going. Uh, the game's open ended, but uh, yeah, I'll probably do half a dozen at least. So uh, I guess uh, see you back next time for the next part here. Well, I'm going to pause it here. Uh, and I guess I'll see you back next time.